Okay, hello. Hi. Um, oh my gosh, I say this literally every single video, but it's been so long since I made a video. Ugh, okay, a couple things are different now. First of all, I have a ring light because I'm filming at like 6 at night because no one's here and I'm bored and lonely. And I heard weird noises in my house, so I'm locked in my room now. Oh my god, and I'm sweating too. Um, what else can I talk about that no one cares about? I got a new phone and I film my videos on my phone, so maybe the camera quality looks better now. I hope it does or else that kind of sucks. So yeah, new camera, this big light that's literally blinding me, my eyes hurt. Um, oh, I'm in my new house now, but you can't see anything. Well, I think you can kind of see some stuff. Yeah, it's messy because I literally just threw a bunch of stuff over. On the other side so I can film like in this empty space okay so those are my life updates that no one cares about what this video is about today is my dolls kill haul for Black Friday um I literally just got this packaging yesterday their shipping took so long I swear I thought they forgot about my order but it's finally here and after I bought this it made me realize that I like never ever buy from dolls kill I've only ever bought three things from there a pair of sneakers, a pair of heels that I sold after I wore them to prom, and one shirt. So today I spent 125-ish dollars. So yeah, this is like my first like real purchase from Dolls Kill where I got a good idea of like what the quality of their clothes are. And I'm gonna tell you guys, well actually I'm sure like literally everyone has bought from Dolls Kill before. But yeah, I just... I learned some things about them today and oh my god this light it's so hot in here I have the fan on <sighs> let me just get started because I'm sweating okay so here's the first thing I got it's this dress by the brand glamorous I know dolls kill owns like a bunch of their own brands but I don't think this is one of them um so I picked this out because it was giving me like a real 80s vibe look ever since I watched stranger things I've just been obsessed with like those like tacky is tacky the right word but yeah like dresses like this with like that funky print so this one it's the glamorous lilac fresh picked flowers sundress in a medium and it was on sale for $23.52 um so yeah it was pretty cheap but it's not there's some problems with it let me show you Okay, I don't know how to stand and fit every my face on the camera, but anyway. So this dress has two layers, um, like this sheer outer layer with the design on it, and then a kind of slip, just plain purple dress. But the problem is, both layers are like really sheer. Um, you can even see like the seam going down the front. Luckily, you can't like see my undergarments i was a little bit disappointed but it's not so bad that i'm gonna send it back i think it's cute enough and as long as you can't see my underwear i think i'm good it came with just like a little string belt but i do have some belts that i think that would go really cute with it so let me try those on okay first i have this heart shaped belt from goodwill it's literally my favorite belt in the world i wear it with everything um that sticks out but i usually safety pin it down I think this kind of matches that retro vibe pretty well. I also have these two belts. I also got them from Goodwill. They were brand new, 50 cents each. Um, I think the colors match. I'm not sure if the style of the belt, like with the buckle and stuff, is the right vibe, but the colors match. So maybe I'll wear those one day. So yeah, here's this dress. Um, It's all right. It's cheap enough that it was worth it, but yeah, it's not the best quality, but it's still cute. So let's go on to the next thing. Okay, also sorry about my hair. I know it's like super messy, but I don't really care. It's been raining. Anyway, this dress was a huge letdown. Um, I'm sure you guys recognize this one. It's the Delia's collection. I got it in a medium. I thought it was going to be like a super cute, like oversized, swishy, billowy dress that's like super cute, but I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. Like... I'm trying it on for the second time now. I think I like it a little bit more the second time. But like, I don't know. I think part of it is that it's too short. And also the fabric is not what I was expecting at all. It's like super cheap, unstretchy cotton. 
I don't know. I think they like really cheaped out on this dress and I don't know why everyone on my Instagram was wearing this because it's not that cute. Um, I convinced myself I was going to return it. I'm thinking about it, giving it a second guess now, but yeah, I'm really not into this one. It's, I don't know. Dolls Girl kind of dropped the ball on this one. It's like, it looks cute, but in real life, I don't know. I'll do a close up. So yeah, I'm sure you've seen the pattern already. It's a cute cut and everything, but I don't know. There's just something that doesn't quite work about it. Now let me know what you think if I should keep it. I don't like short dresses because the beauty of a dress is that you don't have to wear pants. But when your dress is short, then you do have to wear pants underneath and it's like, what's the point? <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty short. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, no, it was too short and it's not stretchy. Uh, I mean, it fits me okay. The medium is fine. Eh, I don't know. This is the worst thing in the haul that I have. So yeah, I'll just move on from this one. Okay, I forgot to say the price of that doll's kill or the Delia's dress. It was $15.96. So anyway, this is the next one. I was super, super excited about this because it gives me another retro, but this one, I don't know, like 60s or 70s kind of vibe. I don't know, but I love it. This is by Current Mood. It's the Harmony Lane floral dress, also in a medium. Um, the fabric, okay, I don't know the material, wait, okay, so it is polyester, which I don't like polyester, but anyway, it's super cute regardless. It fits pretty nicely, um, yeah, let's go close up. It has fake buttons all the way down the front, um, it also has a super cute collar, and it also goes around to the back, I don't know if there's a name for that, but yeah, it's super cute. And the sleeves are like a little bit poofy. Ugh, I love it so much. It's the perfect length. Um, again, it's polyester, so I don't know how like breathable it is, but for right now, it's comfortable. It's not tight. It's like loose, but form-fitting, so it looks good. Um, yeah, I'm really happy about this one. Oh, also, it zips up the back because of those fake buttons. And, oh my god, I really wanted to wear this with my white Mary Janes. They would have gone so perfect. But those shoes died. So, now I need to find new shoes to wear with this. Because I know Mary Janes would look so good. But yeah, anyway, I really love this one. So, let's move on. Okay, so next up I have three tops. Here's the first one. It's called the Lilac Love More Cutout Top in Lavender. And something, oh wait. <laughs> It's also $14. So something I have learned from Dolls Kill is when they take their photos, I don't know exactly what they do. They just do it really bright or they turn up the exposure or something. But they make all their clothes like look lighter than they are in real life. This is not lavender. Um, yeah, I was kind of disappointed when I saw the color in real life. Um, it's pretty dark. I don't like to wear dark colors like this. Um... So whoever called this lavender, you're a liar. This is dark purple. It's not the color I wanted, but it's okay. Um, I'm also wearing it just how the model wore it with a white tennis skirt. Looks pretty cute. Um, the good thing about this is that I was kind of worried about how big the heart cutout is, but like you don't even have to change like your bra. It fits, like it still covers enough and it's fine. Although it's kind of tight, I think I got the medium again. It's kind of, it's kind of tight. <laughs> and yeah, you can see everything. So watch out for that if you're buying this one. Um, it's stretchy, but I don't know. I wouldn't wear a large, but like the medium is cutting it close. So here's the cutout again. It's pretty big, but like, I don't know, it's fine for me. Um, the collar's interesting. I don't know. I'm oh, sorry. I wasn't looking at the camera. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Like, this kind of collar? Whatever. Aside from the color, I really love this top. I've been wanting something like this forever. I always look on AliExpress for, like, those little sweaters with the, like, the hearts in it or whatever. But, yeah, I ended up getting this, and, yeah, I'm gonna wear it even though it's kind of dark. I think this outfit's pretty cute. And I can still wear this like a bunch of different ways, even though it's a little bit dark. So yeah. Okay, and now I'm wearing this Show Me Love knit sweater 
in medium. This was $22.40. The weird thing about this, it has like a bunch of like plastic stringy things. You probably can't see, but yeah, all these plastic strings coming out of it. Um, I guess, oh, there's another one. Oh, I guess that's like how they sewed on the hearts. So the hearts are like that fleece, fuzzy, kind of like pajamas or socks feeling. And the sweater, it's, I don't know, it's not like super soft. It just feels like a normal sweater, honestly. So there's hearts down the sleeves. Um, there's nothing on the back, it's just normal. When I took it out of the package, I felt like it was gonna be too short, but if it's fine. Um, I usually wouldn't style it like this. <laughs> I was just still wearing the skirt. Um, usually I just wear sweaters with jeans. I'm not a sweaters and skirts person, but that'd be cute. I'm gonna try and tuck it in. Okay, the sweater is, it's like warm. It's not super thick. It's thin enough that I can tuck it into this skirt and it's still like comfortable and I'm not super lumpy. So I guess that's good. Um, I don't know how warm it would be. It's not like paper thin, like a super cheap sweater. But yeah, it's really cute. Who doesn't need more pink sweaters? Okay, and now I'm on the last clothing item. This is the Besties Forever graphic tee in a medium. Oh my god, in white also comes in black, but obviously that's not my aesthetic. Um, it was only $12.60. And I know this is silly, but I feel like this was the thing I was most excited about. I'm always looking for graphic tees because they're just so easy. It's like you just wear them with jeans and you look cute. But it's so hard to find cute graphic tees that don't say something stupid. Because if you look in Forever 21, it says like, tacos are bae. And then if you look on Dolls Kill, it's like something that I would have to censor. So this one, I love it. It's um, too, I don't know if it's QP, QPI, look, I'll never learn. But you know, like those little babies. One's an angel, one's a devil, and they're so cute. It just has some red details, which I also like, because then it matches with these pants. And also have a cute red skirt it could go with. So yeah, it's just, it's kind of cropped. I think it's called a baby tee, because I searched baby tee in their search thing, and this came up. Um, I mean, it's just a t-shirt. It's, you know, stretchy, it's comfortable, the quality is, it's fine, you know, like a normal shirt. Um, and yeah, it's super cute. I like that it's a long crop, that it's not like, you know, up to here, so I can still wear it with pants that are like kind of mid-rise. Um, so yeah, I know it's silly to be so excited about a cheap t-shirt, but I love this. Okay, so I'm on the last thing now. Um, here they are. I'm pretty excited about these. So they're holographic Mary Janes, um, specifically the Psy Holographic Mary Janes. Okay, I didn't need to read that. Um, they're by the brand Koi Footwear. I know they have their own website, and I checked on the Koi website to see if these would be cheaper, but boy, they were not. So Dolls Kill is the best place to get them if you want these. Um, I got them in a US 10, and they fit perfectly. They're surprisingly like super lightweight. So like I mentioned before, I used to have white Mary Janes that I loved, but they broke. So I got these kind of to replace them. Um, and when I took them out of the box, I was kind of surprised how light they were. I was kind of disappointed. I was like, oh, these are cheap because my other ones were like super heavy. But I think this is actually a good thing. Like they're not going to hurt my feet. They're not super clunky, although they do have like that cool like they're like chunky but not clunky do you know what I mean and the holographic it's a little bit like me in 2015 2016 um they also had these in pink which I would have bought but they were like eight dollars more expensive and eight dollars is a lot to me <laughs> so I just went with these I really wanted them in white but they didn't have it so I thought holographic is pretty easy to match still and the heel is pretty high, but like, I can't even emphasize how comfortable they are. The inside, it's not super padded, it's just like slightly squishy, but like, I swear, they feel so nice. It doesn't even feel like a heel at all. It's like, oh my god, I love these so much. I haven't worn them out of the house yet. Um, I've just been wearing them around my room, and they had like some scuffs on them. That might have been my fault, but... 
I think they might have come like that. I don't even care. I love them. In the sunlight, they are so pretty. I hope the ring light is like showing the nice rainbow-ness because, oh my god, the light's literally blinding me, but hopefully it's worth it so you can see how nice these are. Um, let me just buckle one up because I'm not going to try them on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I don't have the energy to like reset up the camera on the floor and also I don't I don't want to vacuum so <laughs> here's what they look like they're just like a normal Mary Jane um, um it's called T bar T strap something like that just classic um, and it has a buckle with three loops um, so yeah usually I wear like a size nine nine and a half and just to be on the safe side I went with the ten and I think that was the right call. They fit perfectly. I'm like swinging these around my face. Um, yeah, I could go on. I seriously love these. And I think I'm gonna get a lot more wear out of them than I expected because of how comfortable they are. And I mean, they're kind of funky, but like, I think they're still super versatile. So yeah, I'm really happy with these. Okay, so that was everything I bought on Dolls Co. for Black Friday. Um, like I said, $125. Not bad for seven items, including a pair of shoes. Um, what else do I have to say? Sorry, I know I wasn't looking at the camera. I'm trying to right now, but like this light is hurting me. And also, I'm hot and my hair is frizzy. <laughs> But look, I haven't filmed a video in so long. It's not my fault. Oh, and also, so on this new phone, it's an iPhone 8, so it's kind of old, but it's new to me. I'm going to try and edit this video on my phone. So hopefully that works out. Um, if you're hearing me say this, that means I did it. So let me know how it looks. Uh, let me know. I don't know. Let me know if I should keep that black dress that I'm not sure about. Uh, what else? <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, circusangel underscore. Uh, yeah, hopefully the quality of this video is okay, because like I said, it's dark out now. And I'm using this ring light for the first time. It's my brother's, actually. I just stole it from him. And I don't even think he's used it before. Also, sorry if I was talking fast. If it sounds like I was rushing, it's because I was, because I'm still nervous about filming videos. And look, I'm out of practice now, so like I'm just rambling. I don't even know what to say. Let me just end this. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.